In this Photoshop Elements 12 video, we'll make a quick collage using three images. The images we use will include a portrait of a young girl, a bright metallic texture as a background, and an old manuscript as a texture layer over the portrait. Blending modes and a layer mask are the secrets to using this technique. Let's create a new file to hold the finished collage. From the File menu, choose New, then choose Blank File. Enter the dimensions of the file you want to complete. I'm using dimensions of 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 72 and background contents of white. Click OK. Now let's add the texture or background that you're going to use as the background for the collage. From the File menu, choose Place, then select the metallic background and click Place. In the tool options, choose Constrain Proportions and click and drag one of the corners of the image so that it covers the underlying image. If it doesn't quite fit, drag one of the side handles until you've covered the entire image with the one on top. Press Enter or check the green check mark when you're done. In the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode from Normal to Difference. That will change those bright reds and oranges to some greens and blues that will blend in nicely with the background that is already on the portrait of the girl. From the File menu, choose Place, and now let's add the portrait of the girl. Select the image and choose Place. Because the portrait is the same size as the underlying image, it's already fitting nicely on the screen. Press Enter to accept that placement. We now want to hide some of the pixels on this layer to show the pixels from the layer below, our background. In the Layers panel, add a layer mask to the girl's image. The layer mask will be filled with white. In a layer mask, White will reveal the pixels on the current layer and black will hide the pixels. So we want to paint or cover with black this side of the image to hide the pixels on this layer and reveal the layer below. Select the gradient tool. Press D to set the default colors of the mask of a foreground color of white and a background color of black. In the gradient tool options, Open the Gradient Picker and select the Foreground to Background Gradient. Mode will be Normal, Opacity 100%, check Transparency, and choose the Linear Gradient. We're going to draw from left to right. We will start halfway into the girl's hair and then drag from left to right. Where we started will be white, where we ended up will be completely black and in the middle the layers will blend together. If you want to hide some of that blending effect in the girl's hair, you can paint with white over her hair to just keep the current layer revealed. Select the brush tool, choose a large soft round brush, about 300 pixels, set the opacity to 100%, and then just brush over those portions of the girl's hair that you want to keep revealed on the current layer. Let's add a texture on top of the girl. From the File menu, choose Place, then select that written manuscript and click Place. Drag the corners of the manuscript out so that it covers the entire image. Notice that some of the transform handles are not visible because we've expanded this so much. On the PC, you can press Control-0 or on the Mac, press Command-0 to display all of the handles of the transform box. Let's rotate that box a little bit and move it a little bit. Expand it a little more and press Enter when you're happy with the results. In the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode of that text layer from Normal to Overlay. And we have a very nice text 
overlying our image. We'd like to recover some of the girl's face. And in order to do that, we'll make another layer mask. In the Layers panel, click the Add Layer Mask icon to add a layer mask to the text layer. And if we want to see the girl's face revealed and hide the text, we're going to have to cover that part of the image with black because black will hide the pixels on the current layer. Change the color to black, the foreground color, using the brush tool. Brush over the girl's face to erase the text from her face and reveal the layer below. On the edges, if you want a little bit more fine blending, reduce the opacity of the brush and then paint over the edges so that the text seems to blend in better with the layer below. Using three simple images, blend modes and layer masks, we've put together a collage in a very short time.